What's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf. Back at it with another video. It's just crazy. So I'm on my way here. Bad accident. Some type of um, I don't want to say an, R, an RV style trailer, motorhome trailer, or, you know, like some camping trailer. Flipped up upside down in the middle of the road. And it looks like it just happened. If I was just a little earlier, I would have been tied into that whole fiasco. So, lucky on that. You can tell again, the water is super low. He's trying to get out here. Before we get started, there's like a storm. It's like the crazy thing, it was like about 70 today, and um, I had a lot of male snow or a blizzard uh, leopard gecko. Poyo clip, what he looks like, really cool, all white. Considered a morph, leopard gecko sees a blizzard, and he is the all white one. Let me just move that so I get him moving around. So that's vanilla ice, and uh, he's a male. And then this one's a female. She hasn't has a name yet. I'm thinking about picking up another one or two more females because I'm actually going to breed the leopard geckos. Yeah, so this one's really cool. It's kind of actually hard to find female leopard geckos. The blizzard is really cool. I mean, he is just, look at that guy. Like a walking, he, he reminds me of the Dominus Rex from uh, Jurassic, Jurassic World. <laughs> This looks so cool. Black eyes. So she has like a little slit down her eye. But uh, see that? You can see the eye. See that little? We're gonna call him Vanilla Ice. So I got him. So I was waiting until uh, FedEx would come. So that was like the mercy of the day. The city come at noon and literally came at like 3.30 then trying to get everything going. I had to take care of all the dog before I go. I'm gonna drive in here and it's, yeah. Luckily there's not a lot of people here. It was like raining on the way. I mean, who cares? It's, it's still coming out. It's better than not coming out. Gloves on. These gloves are so thick. They're, and these are on my Amazon store too. Amazon.com slash shop slash Iron Beowulf. Bunch of cool stuff. Check that out. Also to check out the Iron Beowulf merch. Rob is no wake zone. Let's let it rip.
something's a little off of how it's running. They, the sound of air coming in was sounded weird. I don't know if it's real windy that I'm hearing it through the helmet. But something's not sounding right when I'm riding. Sometimes you can hear the blow valve going off. It almost sounded like the intake's not even on, which is just really it, you know, really the ski sound like this. So I'm real curious once I get to the dock. Probably wait till I get um, out of the water to pull everything apart because I just I don't want to get the seat all dirty here at the boat ramp um, and then check it out once I get a little bit better light by my phone to see what's going on but it's something just sounding like really weird it seems like it's having acceleration the RPS weren't getting as high um, on the way coming back in which I've never seen a ski do that so it sounds like to me like it's something supercharged related which i'm actually really shocked because the last time i ran it it's ran really good um, so i'm curious so once i get it out to let you guys know and show you guys what is all going on but man that's a lot of fun all right so this is crazy i figured there was something it sounded loose so the crazy thing so before it popped off the intercooler piping popped off in the bottom right and i added these t-bolt clamps now the craziest thing is it popped off from the top. So it's it's still somewhat on. That's why I was having still some type of acceleration. But I'm really glad I didn't get this thing really wet. It's actually really drying here, which is really good because I would have been like just letting uh, salt water straight in the intercooler. So luckily this is easy to fix, but it's still kind of crazy that this um, is now popping off. It's for sure on on the bottom, like on on but it came loose right there. So, I mean, that's that's pretty pretty crazy um, that it, it did that. Um, but easy fix and everything else looks fine. I knew that's what it sounded like going wrong. I love going to the ocean. It's just way too much fun. Luckily, you got enough light to actually go up. That's the one thing when you go on the ocean. You know, I got the gear bag with that's all my stuff, but you never know what could happen when you go out there. So you always be prepared, and uh, doesn't matter what time of the day you're going out. I mean, if you get stuck out there and the ski stops working, I mean, the current will fly you close to shore before anybody can come help you. So you take that risk when you go out there in the ocean, um, when you way out far to the sea, you can crash your head in the shore. It's one of those things uh, you don't have all the right equipment for doing it, you get in a lot of trouble. So. Just think about that every time you go in the ocean. So those waves coming in, man, this ski would be really wet. And if you didn't have it moving, approaching it, uh, it would be terrible. And with the tide change all the time too, you wouldn't want to crash into the shore there because uh, it could be next to a bus or get the ski back in the water. Well, we're back. But even if you had an oar with you, with those big waves, it'd be like a really hard battle. The oar is good, like calm water. If you had a ski stop working, moving around, I really don't think it would do anything but make it worse with those waves. Most boats, though, they stop working, they drop anchor. Somewhat probably make it better or it can make it worse. It's one of those hard things when you go out there. You must be riding the hell out of that jet ski. Pretty fast, huh? You've been letting real thing. Yeah. What you been doing? Riding a dirt bike? Riding jet ski. Pretty quick. How quick is it? Probably faster than the boat. <laughs> Not how fast is it though? Like about 80 something. But I don't think it's funny how many people want to know how fast it is. I don't know. I'm not one to like brag to say. I mean, I guess people are curious to see what it was. That was the funniest thing to be thought. I was like, a dirt bike. <laughs> like, how many people ride dirt bikes and wear wetsuits? I guess it kind of looks the same. In a way. You don't know what you're talking about. It's like dirt biking. Yeah, right next to the ocean. I'm walking. I'm walking from the... Uh, from the beach. I went dirt biking. 
Yeah, I didn't really get that wet this time. I was a little worried of when I was hearing the thing halfway through sounding kind of weird. That I first didn't know it was with the wind. So I was like, man, if something's loose, we just don't want to have a bunch of uh, water getting up in there. Yeah, I'll be shocked. Something's wrong with it, man. The Yamaha's been running like a champ. I'd be really shocked. Really, really shocked. But here's my first Ford Crown Vic police interceptor p71 this is the high mileage one this is this is like kind of my workhorse one this is the one that goes to the ocean this is for sure if i'm going to the ocean i'm taking this one and it runs like a champ it's really shocking i mean i don't think i've ever owned a car for this many miles ever in my life and i'll tell you man if you're going to say ford's built tough this is the this is the whip it's built Ford tough. I've had in the past like oh, pulled with a Jeep Grand Cherokee to SRT. I had an FJ Cruiser uh, trail teams and I had issues with pulling with that. And then I had a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon for a short period of time. I did not find that as a really good tow vehicle. The wheelbase is too short. So like you were like halfway in the water, like without your driver passenger door with it so I did not I did not find that as a good vehicle jet ski all right so let's go get it on the trailer and let's go about here and see what's going on with it 